celebrating women's history. This year's theme, Women's Education, Women's Empowerment, honors pioneers in advanced learning. I think I came through the engineering or came into the engineering world at such a great time for women and um, just kind of equal equal rights, equal opportunities. All through college, I was very much encouraged to continue my education, um, to continue a higher education. I was kind of junior high age when the first women graduated from the academy, class of 80, and I remember watching that on television um, with my father. And my father's like, hey, you know, this is an opportunity for you. Then in 1982, the first woman graduated from test pilot school, paving the way for dozens of female aviators and engineers. I thoroughly enjoyed test pilot school. Academically, it was very challenging, but the flying and the pace that they keep you at, it's stimulating and it's challenging. My goal of going to test pilot school started about the same time as my thoughts to join the Navy. I have always been interested in going into space and becoming an astronaut and one of the routes to do that is through the military and going to test pilot school. Sally Ride, the, uh, the female astronaut, definitely um, was a big female figure um, when I was growing up, when I was little. Um, the whole, uh, you know, astronaut, uh, it's very glamorous, and, but, but I know that she worked really hard to get where she did. Today, women make up around 20% of the military, a number that's grown significantly over the past few years. I can remember when I was in uh, primary training being interviewed by Wolf Blitzer from CNN. Um, and he had a line of us girls on the, on the flight line uh, in front of the T-34, um, and he was asking us um, about the combat exclusion law and why were we even bothering uh, to go through as aviators and get our wings if we couldn't fly in combat. Um, and I believe that my response to him was that um, there's more to the military than just being on the front lines. I think a lot of people don't try because they don't think they can, they don't know what the path is. And I think seeing that someone found a way through gives people hope and desire to uh, excel in, in areas that may, maybe they wouldn't have never considered. These women believe in passing on the power of learning to future generations. And for us to celebrate women's history is so that the younger generations will know that, you know, we haven't always been this equal. Women have had to fight for an equal place as well as some other um, ethnicities have had to fight. The more that you can see that there's equal opportunity, the more you are to pursue it. Um, so I do as much outreach as I can for uh, the schools. That if it's something you want to do, it is achievable. Like most things nowadays, don't, don't let your, your friends in school tell you, well, math is a boy's thing. It's hard, but it's hard the same way anything you want to do is hard, that you have to work for things you want. I'm, I'm forever grateful to the women that paved the way for me to be able to um, go to test pilot school. The, the strength that they must have had to, um, to go through that and the ambition, it's amazing.